Look at him waiting for me. Oh, no, no, no. Get your butt outside. You know you can't be inside when mommy's not home, right? Yeah, that's Welcome back to another video here on LMP Homestead. We've actually got a couple of little things going on today. So first thing we gotta do is we've got a new way of holding our feed, for the pigs at least, so that, well also for the chicks, so that the feed does not get damp, it doesn't hold moisture. Look at this guy digging, trying to dig under the fence. You know you can't be doing that, mom gets ticked. We gotta transfer all the feed into the big plastic bins. We'll show you that in just a sec. I'm gonna fill the feed bins in there and uh, give the pigs their feed for the evening. When it comes to the feed bins that we got, we really didn't get anything too fancy. Scout still got some feed in there. Got him a couple buckets of water. Um, we just basically got the cheaper, you know, plastic trash cans. And I'll show you those right here, just a 32 gallon, because that's the same size as the one that we have here. Um, that one's a little narrower and a little taller, but they're the same, same capacity. And so we're gonna be able to hold the feed here and have it not get damp. I'm actually gonna take these cans real quick and I'm gonna move the bags and put the cans on top of the board. We got the board on some two by fours and then we have a big flat one on top. So I'm gonna settle the feed bins on there. So they're out of the way coming in and out of the sliding door here. Now we're gonna get those topped off. But the main purpose we went with the plastic pour is the tin cans happen to not last very well if you have feed sitting in them for a long amount of time. And these men's might have feed for weeks and weeks on end at a time while we're going through it between transitioning of the new feed coming in because if you buy it in bulk it's a lot cheaper so we're going to do that because long term it's going to save you quite a bit of money if you're going to do it for years on end but i also don't want my feed to go bad and i also don't want the tin cans that we could have had the option to have that look more like a feed bin to just rush through if the feed sits in there too long collects moisture and it can, you know, start to rust your cans right out through the bottom. So we're going to get these moved over and get them filled up. Well, we were able to get all the feed transferred over. These ones are all full of pig feed. This one is, of course, pig feed too. Um, but this one here is the chick feed. We might also be picking up some new friends tonight so we'll see about that it depends if the place is still open if they're not we'll have to do it tomorrow but i'll keep you up to date and another thing i gotta do we've got some zip ties here and the reason for the zip ties is not that the pigs absolutely need them look at that they tried to push the gate open it's not cool my brother just came in here to plug their heat lamp back in and he must not have realized how i'm supposed to close this when i close this what i tend to do um and i don't want to get any stuck or wedged in between and hurt themselves what i'll do is run it behind there and then run it in front and then i hook it up over here um that way it can't open any more than that little like three inch gap so that they can't actually even fit their head through or anything but got some more feed we're gonna take the zip ties and what i'm gonna do with the zip ties is if you see the corners here it's not really that important, but the corners are a little bit, you know, loose. And I just don't want them when they're bigger being able to like push this open or something. And, uh, you know, getting wedged in between themselves or something. Um, so, I'm going to get in here. They were running all around. They were like playing tag and everything, weren't they? It was hilarious. Every time I come in here, they try to chew on my shoes. But, here's their feed. Yeah, they might be closed now. Okay, so I got their feed, got their water. I did the zip tie thing. I don't know, guys. It, it, I know it looks hillbilly. Um, they need to be all, they got all be trimmed, but it holds these ends together. And these fences are already stiff and have a lot of, as you could say, strength and integrity as it is. They kind of stand up on their own if you balance them. And so if you zip tie all these corners up, I mean, it really helps the boxing be a box. The fencing basically can hold itself up all the way around, even though it's, you know, fastened in with the stakes. Um, and it just helps everything, you know, all in all stay together. But we got to find out a new watering system because these guys, you fill up their water, they take a sip, and then they dump it all out. So um, we have to come out here constantly and fill their water back up. So I say we work on a water system, get a better feed system because they keep tipping their dishes over. Reagan and I are a little bit bummed out 
We did run by TSA and another shop, well, feed mill that was close by that sells, you know, chicks and stuff for the ducks and little black chicks she was wanting to get. But they were both closed and we were like five minutes after the closing time. So that was, that was a little bit disappointing. But anyways, let's work on a hog feeder. Not just one, but I was gonna make two hog feeders, one for each of them, but I'm gonna make them big enough to where if two hogs had to feed at one at the same time, they could, but let's get to that right now. done with the concept not the final product but at least the concept of what we're trying to do so you might be wondering why do you have exhaust clamps in your hand well, I'm about to show you why I have exhaust clamps in my hand Get some level dirt now I'd like to take this back out and paint it here soon but we're running out of daylight so I'm trying to show you guys what I'm thinking, once we can kind of get the pigs away from chewing on my shoes, um, we did get this started on, and here's the concept behind my idea. This feeder's not very big, it's not a super heavy feeder, so my thought process was if I can somehow fasten it to the stake with something that's not just gonna break easy, not only can we reuse these clamps for years and years and years, even if we have to replace the actual concept of the feeder itself, but then they, pigs can't flip it over knock it over because this little wooden box might not be able to get knocked over right now when they're 40 pounds a piece well they could if they wanted if they really tried but when they're bigger they can bump it and knock it right over at least with this even if they rough house with it smacking around each other I mean they're not going to be able to knock that feeder over so now we're gonna get them a little bit more feed than normal for the evening just for the testing of the feeder but the thing is, they don't just eat. I mean, they will eventually, but every time we put feed in there, they'll eat a little bit and then they'll leave and they'll eat a little bit and then they'll leave. And then like it takes them probably half of the day just to finish what we give them in the morning. It's like they don't just like hoard it and suck it all down at one time. But we're gonna see if the feeder works. Now I did put two nine and a half inch wide two by fours at the bottom at an angle so that it kind of dumps the feed out and it kind of gravity feeds. But you're really not gonna know if it truly gravity feeds unless you actually fill it up all the way just cause this obviously isn't gonna be full all the way. And the pigs are so, so like animals of habit, like such animals of habit. Like they'll only poop in the same spot and only urinate in the same spot, it's kind of weird. But, we're going to see here how this feeder works. I mean, they don't care where their feed comes from, I guess, but... <laughs> but if you notice one thing, they haven't knocked it over yet. <laughs> now, the actual dimensions of this I can tell you the dimensions of it if you want to make one with not cheap OSB and Scout's going to bed. Everything else, yeah. He's like, yeah. He's taking no, himself. No, I'm to pretty bed. sure he just wants to poop over here, so we have to clean it up. But it's usually what he does. Like you can see right there, Scout. you can see that pile of poop right there. He came all the way in here just to leave that right there for us, <laughs> so we have to move it. Four 36 inch long two by fours, three nine and a half inch wide two by fours two 16 inch long two by fours and two 20 inch long two by fours and then just some 16 inch wide osb 36 inches tall pretty simple pretty straightforward um that's pretty much it it's a very very simple very cheap feed bin i might actually put a little bit more in here but then just like tack a board on top just for tonight but then of course eventually i want to just have like a hinge on it so you can just open it up and close it open and close it but um, yeah, there's the concept. That's the that's the feeder concept. Hopefully it works, and hopefully it doesn't just I don't know 
get all soggy in there or moisture set in and ruin the feed and then it gets stuck in the feeder because that would defeat the whole purpose of having a feeder. So anyways guys, hopefully guys enjoyed that video. Any last words from you, Regan? I know we had a plan this evening that didn't quite go to the script. <laughs> I'm just gonna go back, I guess, another day. Later, maybe tomorrow. So. Yeah, so it was kind of a bummer. I said, yeah, we we're gonna try to get some more little critters, but it didn't work out. <laughs> but uh, anyways, so maybe we will get to that tomorrow. I don't know. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the LMP Homestead channel if you have not done so yet. Leave a fat thumbs up, comment down below. Subscribe if you're new, and we'll catch you in the next video.